Is Nikola Jokic the best passer we've ever seen? Picture this, a guy chugging a gallon of Coca-Cola daily, downing junk food and struggling to keep up with the breakneck pace of the NBA. Once just a chubby Serbian kid with an unanswered Facebook invite, he's completely transformed himself into an MVP and champion. This isn't just for basketball buffs, it's for anyone who appreciates the art of defying expectations. Ever watched a player turn the basketball court into a canvas, each move a stroke of brilliance? Today, we explore the enigma that is Nikola Jokic. A player who asks, why sprint when you can shuffle? Why dunk when you can dance? Beyond the highlight reels and triple doubles, there's a deeper story, a game of rewriting narratives, challenging conventions, and staking a claim in the ever-evolving legacy of basketball. Many doubted his potential, but little did they know that beneath the unassuming exterior was one of the most talented, versatile, and dominant players the league would ever witness. This is the remarkable transformation of a basketball prodigy who defied expectations and evolved from an underestimated, out-of-shape rookie into one of the NBA's reigning giants. A decade ago, a chubby Serbian kid invited his Facebook friends to join him for some pickup basketball and got no replies. Now he's a two-time MVP and one of the most thrilling big men in the league. If he posted a similar invitation today, he would probably have half his country ready to play with him. Nikola Jokic is not your typical NBA superstar. He doesn't have the speed, athleticism, or explosiveness of other elite players. He doesn't look like he spends much time in the gym or on the treadmill. He looks more like a guy who enjoys a good burger and a beer after a game. But don't let his appearance fool you. Jokic is one of the most clever and exciting players in the league. Nikola Jokic is effortlessly picking apart the NBA right now, but he wasn't always in such great shape. When he joined the Denver Nuggets in 2015, he was overweight and had a poor diet. He used to drink a gallon of Coca-Cola every day and eat a ton of junk food. He struggled to keep up with the pace and intensity of the NBA game, and many people doubted his potential. However, Jokic decided to change his habits and transform his body. He cut out soda and fast food and started eating healthier meals. He also worked hard on his conditioning and strength, shedding 30 pounds in his first season. He became faster, stronger, and more agile on the court while still maintaining his unique skills and vision as a passer. There were many doubters in Jokic's early career. In 2014, he declared for the NBA draft but he was not even invited to the combine or any workouts. He fell to the Nuggets with the 41st pick in the second round, which many teams considered a gamble at the time. Jokic was so overlooked that ESPN was showing a Taco Bell commercial when he was drafted. He stayed in Serbia for another year where he improved his game and his physique. In 2015, when he joined the Nuggets, he quickly became a fan favorite. He displayed a rare combination of skills for a big man, such as passing, shooting, rebounding, and playmaking. Jokic also developed a strong chemistry with his teammates, especially Jamal Murray. He earned the nickname, The Joker, for his playful personality and his ability to surprise opponents with his creative moves. Jokic is not only a great player, but also a great story. Here's an example of how hard work, dedication, and passion can overcome any obstacles. He's an inspiration to many young players around the world, especially in Serbia, where he's a national hero. He's also a joy to watch for basketball fans everywhere who appreciate his unique style and skills. Jokic is truly a one-of-a-kind player who has made his mark on the NBA. The Joker manipulates the game with his mind, his vision, and his creativity in several ways. He has a high basketball IQ which allows him to read the game, analyze the defense, and make smart decisions. He has a wide court vision which enables him to see the whole floor, spot open teammates, and deliver accurate passes. Nikola has unique creativity which empowers him to improvise, experiment, and surprise the opponents with his unpredictable moves. Here he is with the old drive left turn and hit the cutter when the double team comes with the over-the-head no-look bullet that's right on the money. The playoffs possibly and possibly playing against the Warriors in the first round. He oh, great pass by that. Let me tell you something. 
I like this guy right here. Jokic anticipates the movements of his teammates and opponents and finds the best possible solution in any situation. He has an incredible sense of timing which helps him know exactly when to pass, shoot, or drive. He has a superb chemistry with his teammates, which fosters trust, communication, and cooperation. Jokic has a versatile skill set which allows him to play any position, handle the ball, shoot from any range, and score in the post. Here's another one. Pass to Jokic, collects it behind the back! Oh! The Joker creates space for himself and others with his footwork, fakes, and use of angles. He has nimble footwork, which enables him to pivot, spin, and change direction on a dime. He also has masterful fakes, which makes him deceive for the defense, allowing him to draw fouls and create openings. Jokic's touch and finesse combined with footwork and use of angles in the paint make him near impossible to guard. Joker has a unique signature move. The somber shuffle is a half step back, half fade away, one-legged jump shot that's very hard to defend. Jokic developed this move after he injured his left ankle and started to shoot off his right leg. He uses this move to create space and score over taller defenders. The somber shuffle is an example of Jokic's creativity and skill, which makes him a unique and dominant player. Besides the somber shuffle, some of the other signature moves from Nikola Jokic are the no-look pass. Jokic often fools the defense by looking one way and passing the other, using his peripheral vision and anticipation. He can make no-look passes with either hand from any position and to any spot on the floor. He has assisted many of his teammates with his no-look passes, especially on alley-oops and backdoor cuts. Here's a perfect example. Yeah, Sacramento trying to drive in. There's Jokic, that man again. Jokic with the block shot, his second tonight. Oh! impact here get the play closer the hook shot Jokic has a soft touch and a high release on his hook shot which makes it hard to block or contest he can shoot the hook shot with either hand from any distance and with different spins and angles the fake handoff Jokic likes to run the dribble handoff play with his teammates where he sets a screen and then hands the ball to the cutter However, sometimes he fakes the handoff and keeps the ball, leaving the defense confused and out of position. He can then either drive to the basket, shoot a jumper, or pass to an open teammate. Many people think that Jokic is a bad defender, but the numbers show otherwise. Jokic is actually one of the best defensive centers in the NBA, and here are some stats to prove it. First of all, Jokic has a defensive rating of 103.4, which ranks 10th among all centers who play at least 25 minutes per game. That means he allows fewer points per 100 possessions than most of his peers. He also has a defensive win share of 2.9, which ranks 7th among all centers and measures how many wins he contributes with his defense. Secondly, Jokic is a great rim protector, despite his lack of athleticism. He holds opponents to 54.6% shooting within six feet of the basket, which is better than Rudy Gobert, 55.1%, Joel Embiid, 55.4%, and Anthony Davis, 56.3%. He also blocks 1.1 shots per game, which is not elite, but still respectable. Thirdly, Jokic is a versatile defender who can switch and guard multiple positions, he has a defensive versatility index of 0.77, which ranks fourth among all centers and measures how often he defends different types of players. He can hold his own against guards and wings, as well as big men. He also has a steal percentage of 2%, which ranks fifth among all centers and shows his ability to disrupt passing lanes and create turnovers. All in all, Jokic is a much better defender than people think and give him credit. He's not just an offensive superstar, but also a defensive anchor for the Nuggets. He deserves more recognition and respect for his defensive impact. Nikola Jokic can score, rebound, pass, defend, and lead his team to victory. He's won two MVP awards, one Finals MVP award, and one NBA championship with the Denver Nuggets. He's also a five-time All-Star and a five-time All-NBA selection. He's a master of advanced stats, which measure his impact on the game beyond the traditional box score.
He's the best in NBA history for PER, Player Efficiency Rating, which is a measure of a player's per-minute productivity. Jokic has a career PER of 27.9, which ranks first among all players in NBA history. Of course, he's very efficient when he finds his teammates with the ball, whether it's driving to the rim or a kick out to the open three. Got Hastings. Now Jokic around the screen. Got a wide open Bruce Brown three. Jokic going to be doubled again. Jokic dazzles from his mid-range game. He can make incredible plays from that area, showing his superb touch that rivals the best in the league. Jokic hit 121 out of 235 shots, 51.5% from mid-range in his MVP season. That's amazing. Only 16 players sank at least 100 shots from that range last season. And only elite point guards Kyrie Irving, 54.4%, and Chris Paul, 51.6%, had a better percentage. Jokic has another trick up his sleeve. He can fake out defenders with his perimeter shooting, 39% this season, then drive to the lane and drop beautiful floaters. But the skill that truly sets him apart from everyone else is his passing. Jokic is a master of passing. He can make any pass from any angle with either hand with pinpoint accuracy and creativity. He can thread the needle through tight spaces, lob the ball over defenders, bounce it off the floor, or even behind his back. He can find his teammates in transition, in the post, on the perimeter, or cutting to the basket. He can pass out of double teams, traps, or pressure. He can pass while facing up, backing down, or on the move. He can pass like no other big man in NBA history. Check this out. It's an air ball. Reed has it poked out. Jokic has it. Behind oh. the back. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Now watch Jones. Jokic go long. He does. Murray shot. Good if it goes. Jokic's passing numbers are staggering. He averaged 8.3 assists per game last season leading all centers and ranking sixth among all players. He had 16 triple-doubles, the most by a center in a single season. He had three games with 15 or more assists, the most by a center since Wilt Chamberlain in 1968. He had 599 total assists, the most by a center since Chamberlain in 1967. He had a 40.5% assist percentage, the highest by a center ever. Jokic's passing impact is even more impressive. According to NBA.com, he generated 21.2 points per game off his assists last season, the most by any player in the league. He also had a 12.4% secondary assist percentage, the highest by any player with at least 500 assists. This means that he not only created scoring opportunities for his teammates directly, but also indirectly by initiating ball movement and creating hockey assists. Jokic's passing made the Denver Nuggets one of the best offensive teams in the league, ranking fourth in offensive rating and fifth in effective field goal percentage. Can the Nuggets get a stop? Porter Jr., that's off. Jokic has it. Baseball pass. Porter's out there, and he puts it away. Turn at the base. Jokic underneath the Porter. Hey! Wow. Jokic's passing is not only effective, but also entertaining. He has a flair for making highlight reel passes that wow fans and analysts alike. He has a knack for making no-look passes that catch defenders off guard and leave them looking silly. Jokic has a sense of humor for making trick passes that make his teammates laugh and his opponents shake their heads. Nine and three at home. Oh, look at that pass! Look at the pass! What a play! The Joker's passing is so good that it invites comparisons to some of the greatest passers in NBA history, regardless of position. Some compare him to Magic Johnson, who revolutionized the point guard position with his size, skill, and charisma. Some compare him to Larry Bird, who dazzled fans with his intelligence, creativity, and clutchness. Some compare him to Steve Nash, who dominated the league with his efficiency, accuracy, and leadership. Steve Nash stands out as a prime example in NBA history, 
adept at conjuring passes seemingly out of thin air as he maneuvered through traffic. Nash's constant probing and remarkably quick trigger arguably make him one of the most prolific passers ever, consistently delivering absurd completions in every game. While Nash might be a dark horse contender for the title of the greatest passer, Magic Johnson likely holds the unofficial crown in the eyes of many fans. Magic's ability to dissect teams in transition, coupled with his pace and flair, was formidable. Moreover, Magic's effectiveness extended to the half-court, where his speed and creativity punctured defenses. Larry Bird, on the other hand, may be remembered as the most valuable outlet passer of all time, showcasing exceptional passing skills while on the move. These comparisons set the stage for an intriguing showdown of skills with even players like Jason Kidd regularly unleashing madness on the court. However, Nikola Jokic asserts himself among these legends, displaying a versatile passing game that encompasses every type of pass imaginable. Jokic adeptly manipulates defenders with subtle head positioning and mere glances, showcasing a level of court awareness that places him in elite company. But perhaps the best comparison for Jokic is LeBron James, who is widely regarded as one of the best passers ever. Like Jokic, James is a versatile, high IQ player who can play multiple positions and do everything on the court. James is a masterful passer who can make any pass from any situation with ease and flair. The stats back up this comparison. According to BasketballReference.com, Jokic and James are the only two players in NBA history to average at least 25 points, 10 rebounds, and 8 assists per game in a single season. Jokic did it last season. James did it in 2017-2018. They are the only two players to have at least three seasons with 500 or more assists and 50 or more double-doubles. Jokic has done it three times. James has done it four times. Jokic's impact on the Denver Nuggets offense is evident in his on-court offensive rating, currently the highest in the league. Denver scores an impressive 125 points per 100 possessions with Jokic on the floor. In stark contrast, their offensive rating plummets to 104 when he's on the bench, emphasizing the substantial value his passing brings to the team. Notably, 57% of Jokic's assists this year have resulted in layups, underscoring his ability to create high percentage scoring opportunities. While definitive comparisons with legends like Magic Johnson, Steve Nash, or LeBron James remain challenging, Jokic's passing prowess positions him as one of the best offensive players witnessed in the sport. Whether he surpasses the likes of Magic or Nash in the GOAT passer conversation is debatable, but there is a compelling case for Jokic's inclusion in that esteemed discussion. He's truly a joy to watch and a nightmare to defend. It's as if Jokic possesses a paintbrush, not a basketball. Each pass, a stroke of genius on the canvas of the court. As we witness Jokic's unparalleled passing magic, it becomes clear that he's not only one of the best passers in the game today, but quite possibly the best passer of all time. What do you guys think? Is Nikola Jokic the best passer we've ever seen? Let me know in the comments down below.